pisses me off. Y'all always talking about how y'all want to raise, but y'all don't even have it together. My viewers and subscribers are worth more than gold. We got to get this together. Hand me those papers over there. Oh my God, da da do. Somebody please say it ain't so. I want to thank y'all for tuning in to Docs Daily. We know who Diddy is. America been comfortable with Diddy for a very long time. He been on the Tonight Shows, The Breakfast Club. Every network you can think of had Diddy as a guest. All the way to Nickelodeon, VH1, BT, MTV, you name it. We all know who Diddy is. We know what he about. We know about his lifestyle. If you want to avoid Diddy, people will completely understand. We know what he like to do. Been knowing. It ain't no secret that Diddy like to party and party hard like a rock star. They even got songs about partying like a rock star. Ain't nothing wrong with nothing that Diddy been doing thus far. People see him riding the bike nowadays. They wave at him. He's not in cuffs. People love Diddy and his crazy ass. He's not the problem. Like I said, we all know who Diddy is. But as far as King Combs, we don't have a clue who he is. And people under the impression that he's some helpless little boy because y'all watched him grow up. Y'all fail to realize that this man is now a grown man, Diddy 2.0. Oh the future of bad boy. And he's been doing very, very naughty things. And the spotlight is not on Puff anymore. He wasn't at the house when the house got raided. But King Combs was. Along with his accomplice, Justin. Y'all seen the raid. They was in cuffs looking stupid. The police knew Diddy wasn't there. But they knew his sons would be there when they got there. Now check this out. Sean Diddy Combs' son accused of sex assault and lawsuit that also names music mogul as defendant. So this is a good thing for Puff. Even though he's headlining the news, he's headlining it because of his son. So it takes a lot of heat off of his back. Shine went to jail for 10 years for Puff. Came home and Shine is all right. This is a very young man. And if he do 10 years, he can come home and still be smooth, still be suave, still get in good with the lady. Somebody got to take the L. And like I said in my last video, man, Diddy has been able to get out of his own stuff for the longest. He know how to get out of his own situations and he know how to do it very well. But he's not good at taking the rap for what other people got going on. So his sons is getting ready to burn for who they are, what they've been doing, and how they've been. The only difference between King Combs and Tevin Campbell is that Tevin Campbell don't know who his father is. Oh That's the only difference, man. The lawsuits is dropping. Sean Diddy Combs, who is a subject of a federal sex trafficking investigation, has been named as a defendant in a new lawsuit that alleges his son sexually assaulted a woman while she was working on a yacht. The music mogul had chartered for a trip at the end of 2022. So he thought the girl was an amenity. He thought she came with the boat to do whatever he wanted to do. And a lot of times it's never a problem, but this time she didn't want to be used as a tool that came along with the boat. But this young man didn't give a damn. He don't know what it's like for somebody to tell him no. He was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Did he know what it's like to eat noodles? This young man don't. And if he do, that's a crying shame. At the end of the day, these little gremlins been on the rampage and Diddy is so happy that law enforcement is disciplining these boys. He hoping that this shit will wake his sons up so they can stop trying to follow in his footsteps. That's not what he wanted for them. His son, his son is stunting on him everywhere they go and he can't stand it. And on top of that, 
He got the audacity to call himself King Combs. Look at this man. The allegation is the latest in a wave of lawsuits accusing Combs 54 of sexual assault, sexual trafficking, and engaging in other criminal activity. Y'all want to know what this is, man? Do you really want to know what this is? I'll tell you what this all I'll tell you what this is all about, man. They are losing the privilege that they can afford. And they don't understand why. And the reason why is because these kids been abusing their privilege, man. It's as simple as that. This dude, King Combs, he think he's a young lord and he can do it. He been to 15 proms. 15 proms with different women's. He ain't got no chill button. He gonna learn. We gonna talk about it, man. Make sure y'all do me a favor. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Also hit that notification button. You know that I ain't got nothing but love for all y'all out there. I appreciate the people leaving the comments. Matter of fact, let me show y'all some love real quick, man. Who we got up in here? Where they at? I gotta get to them. Damn. Whatever. We got, who we got? Where the members at? We got a bunch of lovely people here watching. We got Taiwan Akatumbo is in the building. Baby Cakes is kicking it, man. That's what's up. We got two members in the building and everybody else. I got love for y'all too. Real talk. Okay, let's get into the video. Reg, set that up. All right, here we go. All right. Yeah, go ahead, play it. Well, NBC News is getting an exclusive look at a new lawsuit involving music mogul Sean Diddy Combs. In the lawsuit, a woman is accusing Diddy's son, Christian Combs, of sexual assault while she was working on a yacht chartered by his father in 2022. Sean Combs is accused of aiding and abetting. Reps for both men have not yet responded to comment uh, on this latest incident, but it is the latest allegation against Diddy, who's facing accusations of sexual assault and sexual trafficking. He has denied all of the recent claims against him. We have NBC News entertainment correspondent Chloe Malas here on set today. So talk to us a little bit about what you have learned in this exclusive lawsuit that NBC News was able to ob obtain. Yeah, I mean, look, the allegations are in in incredible, um, incredibly disturbing. So Christian Combs is accused of sexual assault, sexual harassment, and infliction of emotional distress in this law. I'm starting to see exactly what this is all about. This is a humiliation ritual. They want to see this man take it to the next level. Somebody done worked out a way to get Diddy out the picture. His sons been working hard to get Diddy out the picture. You can get away with this shit when you young and you're sexy. Ask R. Kelly. When R. Kelly had a six pack, they left his ass on the street. Women would have been fighting if he would have went to jail. Same thing with Trey Songs. The only reason why Trey Songs is free is because it's a whole bunch of women out there that find him sexually attractive. But when you get old and you get fat and you got love handles and tits and you out here touching people and groping people, he sued for premises liability, aiding and abetting his son in alleged assault. He throwing him an alley oop. Because once this is, they not going to let him go to jail. You think them females going to let the judge slam the hammer and say life? They will be in there kicking ass. They will be outside the courthouse the same way they was out there for R. Kelly talking about free R. Kelly until he showed up to court with a goddamn gut. Oh That's what this is all about, man. Oh it's either that or Diddy's kids don't ruin his whole entire life. Y'all got to listen at this, man. Standing 
or in the studio or anything and you don't agree? <laughs> he used to be yelling like, yo, don't don't yell on the mic. Okay, all right. <laughs> I don't do That's too much. Fair. But, you know, he, he got good constructive criticism. Mm-hmm. Make sure we on point. And I always hear you say that you want to take the bad boy legacy to the next the next level, but like yeah. the leg the it's so cemented. Like how do you take something that's already iconic and historic to another level? Well yeah, I think, you know, it definitely is legendary, but taking it to my generation mm-hmm. and you know, getting all the kids to know about it, that's my age, because you'd be surprised. Some people don't even really know about certain things. Like they ain't even know He out there recruiting the kids, yeah. He's recruiting the kids. That's what he do. He want to get the young kids hip to where bad boy is and who his father is. And he's the one bringing them in. Diddy ain't got no connection with the kids. He's an old man. It takes for somebody like him to bring in all the young kids. And that's where you get this sex trafficking shit from. That's not a Diddy problem. That's a King Combs Diddy 2.0 problem. This kid is in trouble for the festivities and shit that he got going on under his father's brand. That's what this is all about. They didn't go at Diddy. They went at his son. They went and got what his son got recorded in his phones and his shit. The little girls he been recording ever since he probably was five years old. He had grown women throwing him the ass. Elementary school teachers or whatnot. He's the freak. Diddy is a public freak. This guy, we just figuring out about him. His tactics and how he do it on the spoiled brat vibes can easily get somebody arrested. Abusing his privilege, the only privilege he ever known to have. He's sinister and he's grown and he's stuck to Diddy like glue. If Diddy didn't have nothing to do with his son, he would not be in trouble. In trouble for what? Getting banged by Meek Mill, allegedly? I don't think so. That's not a crime. But this guy is gung ho on bringing the young generation to bad boy. Listen at this guy. It's so cemented. Like, how do you take something that's already iconic and historic to another level? Well, yeah, I think, you know, it definitely is legendary, but taking it to my generation Mm -hmm. and, you know, getting all the kids to know about it, that's my age, because you'd be surprised. Some people don't even really know about certain things. Like, they ain't even know, like, that sample was from Lil' Kim and Lil' C. Like, a lot of my friends didn't even know that. Or like when they see the video, me and Kodak did, we redid the Crush On You Lil' Kim video. Mm-hmm. They thought I came up with that. <laughs> so it was like, uh-huh. just putting them on, I feel like we could take it even further. This man, his, come on man. His father made a career off of sampling other people's music from back in the day and had to pay them people millions of dollars. And his son is sampling his father's music and redoing Lil' Kim videos, no originality, no creativity whatsoever. And his generation still don't know where it came from. They have no sense of hip hop history. They just get out there and be running their mouth, not even respecting the art. And now this toxic culture done flooded the vase of something that was natural. Bad Boy's legacy is in shambles because this man decided that he wanted to take over. And the way he did it was so damn stupid. All on the internet trafficking. Got all different types of wild shit going on. They even caught a body in the studio. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait one second. Let's get this together. Y'all stay tuned, man. I want to thank y'all once again for tuning in, but we got to investigate a little deeper. We got to go deeper into this thing, man. I got to get to the bottom of this, man. Look at this, y'all. 
Oh God, this is ugly. They got them all in the news. Diddy and Justin under federal investigation for LA studio shooting involvement. Diddy and Justin Combs face a federal investigation for a 2022 LA studio shooting with evidence placing them at the scene and a $30 million lawsuit for the shooting, sexual assault and harassment. Legal actions include arrests linked to their alleged cover up and scrutiny over the past incidents with the Black Mafia family. Federal investigations intensifies. Diddy and Justin Combs are under federal investigation for their alleged involvement in a 2022 shooting at the LA's Chalice Studios with potential criminal charges is looming. Even details and legal implications, the incident organized by Diddy's producers camp escalated from a heated conversation to gunshots, leaving Mr. G bleeding. A $30 million lawsuit targets Diddy and Justin Combs, citing the shooting and additional allegations of sexual assault and harassment. Legal actions and responses. Producer Little Rod's Amid complaint seeks $30 million, accusing Diddy of sexual assault and involvement in the shooting. Diddy's legal team led by Sean Holly counters these claims, highlighting location discrepancies and challenging the credibility of underage party allegations. Oh my Diddy is in trouble for hanging around with his sons. That's what this is boiling down to. And that's why he's out there enjoying the ice cream with Stevie J while his sons is getting all the heat. He may have been there. He may have been around, but he didn't start none of this stuff that they got going on. It's just that he's famous. They didn't have nothing else on Diddy that was big enough to stick. Besides the fact that he smacked Cassie, that ain't nothing that's gonna put somebody in jail. I mean, it should, but I doubt if it would, especially when he's sitting on all that money. Now they're using his sons to go against him, man. That's what it's all about. <sighs> you know, some sinister stuff going on on the spiritual level and a lot of times I don't like to go there but there's something going on and Diddy is paying the price for something that he may have done and he's paying the price through his kids Quincy got the hell out the way he's seen it coming it was too much dirt and if he would have stuck around and got implicated, the shit he done done probably was about 50 times worse than what his brothers was involved with. Either way, Quincy not going to take the heat. Hell, Justin is not even going to take the heat the same way Christian would. And y'all already know why. They said this is a, a blackout moment for bad boy. They call him King Combs, King Kong in the most derogatory way you could think. The way he snatch up them white girls and try to find the secret location and take advantage of whatever the hell it is he do, man. You know it ain't right. Oh my God. The family just ain't right understand that y'all related and y'all on the beach but they all over each other all the time like nigga back up but they won't maybe because that's how they was raised it's very suspicious 
the whole family ain't nothing but a bunch of freaks. But I promise you, Diddy 2.0, he's growing and growing more and more into Diddy. And it ain't looking too good. Diddy is a saint compared to this guy right here. You can see it in his face. He ain't nothing nice. He know how to suck up to his dad, make him feel good, give him some sugar. Give it to him right on the neck. Diddy is just blushing. He know how to charm him. He been getting his way for the longest and he ain't gonna stop. Can't stop, won't stop. He a bad boy. Somebody need to beat his ass. And now they on the front page of the news because of him. Y'all gonna see. They already shifting the narrative. They taking the heat off of Diddy and swinging it around to his kids. And the more and more this build up, the more and more Diddy gonna look like the good guy. Look at this. His sons went out there and got lawyered up. They in so much shit, they had to go get El Chapo's lawyer. Diddy's son retain El Chapo's lawyer amid Homeland Security raid fallout. They need the same defense that a drug lord would have. He said he was trying to take it to the next level and he wanted to be the new, he wanted to continue the legacy and they asked him, was he able to do it? Listen at this show. It's so cemented. Like, how do you take something that's already iconic and historic to another level? Well, yeah, I think, you know, it definitely is legendary, but taking it to my generation mm -hmm. and, you know, getting all the kids to know about it, that's my age. Cause you'd be surprised. Some people don't even really know about certain things. Like they didn't even know, like that sample was from Lil' Kim and yeah, Lil' yeah, C. Yeah. Like a lot of my friends didn't even know that. Or like when they see the video, me and Kodak did, we redid the Crush On You Lil' Kim video. Mm -hmm. They thought I came up with that. <laughs> okay, let's get this clear. So if the young generation don't have a clue about Bad Boy, how in the hell would Diddy be able to wheel them kids in the way he been doing? Unless he got that young star power. And I'm not saying that's something that Diddy wanted, but that's what comes along with being a father to these young men. He ain't got no choice but to be around younger kids because he has younger kids unless he don't want to be involved. They the reason why all this shit is going on. Listen. <laughs> so it's like just putting them on. I feel like we could take it even further. You know, that 20 years from now, still be on top. So right. take another 20. The BET Hip Hop Awards. How was that? For oh, you? yeah, that was crazy. That was a dream come true. Shout out to BET everybody for making that happen. You know, I've been watching my pops on the BT Awards since I was like a baby. So I think we even went to like one of the first ones. So to be there and perform, that was like a big dream. Do you feel like the, the, the industry and the world is finally allowing you to be like your own man? Like they finally looking at you as King Combs and not just Diddy's son? I mean, yeah, I think so. You know, regardless, I know, you know, I had to work for it. It wasn't gonna be mm -hmm. easy just to come out and everybody just receive my music or think that, you know, I have the work ethic that it takes. But, you know, I think, you know, as long as I keep pr proving myself, everybody gonna know. I mean, it's a hip out right now. <laughs> Definitely. Can't stop, won't stop. We're going up. Let's get it. He, he hit, uh, his father, his daddy can't even breathe with these kids. He couldn't even come up with his own slogan or his song. He sampled his father's song. How in the hell you gonna prove yourself as a man when everything you have come from your dad? Everything. He ain't did shit on his own and want to take the credit. I'm my own man. Even though I'm on my daddy's label, I just remade my daddy's song. Can't stop, won't stop. Bad boy, take that, take that. Diddy 2.0. I'm back. I'm Diddy. So everything he do, 
people automatically gonna put it on Diddy. As a grown ass, old ass man, if Diddy wanna get it in with Meek Mill, Rick, Rick Ross, then so be it. He don't pay his dues, made his money. If Diddy wanna be a big old freak, who in the world gonna stop him? Who gonna tell him how to spend his money? Thou who has not sinned, throw the first stone, man. It ain't even about Diddy. Like I said, America been comfortable in knowing who this man is, what he about, what he done done, and what he will possibly do. But now we got a new introduction to the second coming. He looking like the Antichrist. With allegations like this already, he on the roll. Diddy been in the news before. And his sons is ready. I guess this is what it takes to follow in your father's footsteps. But all this sexual stuff is disgusting. We seen. Let me show y'all something, man. Because people act like they forgot. Or they don't. Y'all don't know what time it is. And people be acting all delusional about Diddy. Like y'all just now finding out that this man was a freak. Look at this man. Play this a little bit. I just want y'all to see this real quick. Okay, let's get into it. <clears throat> the Notorious B.I.G. The bad boy part. They got the posters. They got the cards and everything, man. They they setting it up. People online waiting to come in. They want to see Biggie. Brooklyn is in the building. The hose is out there. The ball is just jockeying. It's going down. They let them in. Biggie and VIP with his dudes. Biggie got a chick on this side. A chick on that side. He the motherfucking man. Y'all got to understand. He love it when they call him Big Papa. Because he big, he nasty. And they'll do anything to freak off. Look. These them chicks that would have never. They would have never even. They looking like they embarrassed at the camera on them. He the fat man in the middle with a glass of champagne. He rolling with the diddler, man. Y'all got to keep up. They drinking all his liquor. Drinking all his juice. He with the dealer. He like the penguin. He got them in the club. She on her Beyonce shit before Beyonce was even born. The freak office. They in the back. What's she doing? What's she? Is that a man? Is that a motherfucking man? Did he been a freaky boy? You can't say this chick. Is that a nigga? Oh my goodness. She in the men's bathroom. Hold up. And did he just keep on look? She in there. She holding more meat. Oh my she holding more meat. They can't believe it. She packing more sausage than them boys. They ashamed to even pull they shit out. The diddler brought her to the party, man. He brought her in there. Look at this. Her meat. It's so big. Oh my Them boys backed up and left the bathroom. Hold on, y'all. They ashamed. They mad at the Lord. Like, how was she blessed with more than the best? They second guessing reality. And he came up in there to see Big Papa. Oh my Hold on, man. They getting the fuck out of there. They get they got the hell up. They had to go. But the party still the same dude. That same dude in the bathroom. He back with his niggas. Oh like ain't nothing happened. They still partying with the dealer. 
Look at this, man. Racketeering, gambling, prostitution. You seen all the shit. The stuff they being accused of. You seen it in a Biggie video in 1994. Oh my goodness. This is not nothing new. He already told y'all how it go down, man. Look. They macking bitch. He all up on bitches. He can't get enough of them. He all in the faces of these. He want the cookies. He want the muffin. He want the cakes and the buns. And he willing to pay. This is trafficking. Look at this stuff, man. While he spitting game, she looking for Biggie. This is like a scene out of Blade. Hold on, y'all. Y'all stay tuned. The evilest party you have a Blade rave. It was a freaking Blade rave in the Biggie video. Hold on. Get that video back. Where is that? Yeah, look, they throwing their hands in the air for a true player, blood everywhere. Just like in the Biggie video, it was evil. Hold on, man. Turn that off. Turn to switch that up. There you go. That's him. That's him. He looked like a completely different person back then. He looked like his name Woody or something. What the fuck? Return of the Mac. Hold up. Mary J and Misa. Mary J and Misa. With the blonde hair dudes looking just like Diddy's mother. They was in the club. Bugging for the night. Look. getting drunk with Big Papa. The pig they set up for the slot. Hold on. he tr She tried to get away from look how many is up on her. The same dude she tried to get away from don't snatched her up by her waist. Look. He is not leaving her alone. That's sexual harassment. They all up her skirt. Look how they looking at her, man. Like she a piece of meat. He don't lift up her skirt so his homies could see them cheeks. This is sickening, man. They just drunk off that juice. She's still, he's still in her grill. Biggie, Sno hold on, wait, this fat motherfucker. Oh my goodness. He swooped up on his, he swooped up on that man, girl. Hold up, wait a minute. What's your name? What's your sign? Soon as he buy that wine. Oh my God. Woo. Oh my, oh my he mushed the, he mushed the nigga out the way. Hold up. Woo, woo. Oh my God. Put all five fingers in that man's face. Told him to get the fuck out of here. I ain't never seen nothing like that in my life. Look. Oh, 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 oh. It got dead up in her face, man. Hold on. I ain't never seen a move so cold. Oh, she feeling his vibe. Oh my God. Biggie done bagged the bitch. Bust, oh, bust the hurt, y'all.
Buster is hurt. Biggie taking their bitches and breaking their hearts. And that ain't the cold part. Tell me why she look like a, a wicked shaman witch. Like Mary, I tell you what to do. If you want the power of a man with the money, repeat after me. I have something over Diddy that he would never be able to release. Don't matter if he have sex with girl, I'm here for the money. And the blood. Are you willing to take an oath with me, Maddie? Are you willing to take the pact? She looked wicked. And she was the one helping the dealer. She was the Harley Quinn of this time, man. She was the Harley Quinn of the 90s. The original. Before Cassie and J-Lo played Harley Quinn. It was Misa. He in the club. He's still on some coochie. Oh my he still ain't leaving the hoes alone. She digging. He getting robbed. Did she just dig in his back pocket? Did she rob him? Oh my Wait a minute. These bitches. They robbing niggas in the club. She's the oh, she, 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 she took that nigga wallet. She took his. Oh. Oh my goodness. She took his wallet in front of everybody. Them shiesty ass. Hold on. Is that Diddy? What the fuck? Did he know the cameras was running? Is that the original Sean Combs? Damn, did he? Should at least put your teeth. He should have did something about his teeth before they started recording. They caught him. They caught him off guard in the dressing room. Like, all right, player, time for my close up. Like P. Diddy. He was Money Mike before Money Mike, y'all. Shit. Ugh. They found somebody that was uglier than Biggie. Just to make him be the, the heartthrob in the video. Hold on. Y'all need to see this. washing her feet hold on what did he, this nigga oh my god man. he washing her stinking ass feet did he over there he washing coochies armpits them hoes in there stink she back there waiting like, come on, Diddy. I just came home from work. He in the he in there working. Like, damn, babe, let me do something about them toes. She got the whole hot tub smelling like Fritos, man. Like, take that, take that, take that soap. Oh my god, wait a minute. Washing her motherfucking feet. A little, little, little. He bit his lip. He bit his lip before he poured the water on her feet. And she got that look on her face like, what the fuck is you doing? Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. What he said? Did this nigga say I love? This nigga said I love you, Biggie Smalls. Oh my the f no, Diddy. Oh my In the tub full of women talking about I love you, Biggie Smalls. Oh man, he been zesty since the beginning. Look at this, y'all. Look, 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 look. Play that. 
fuck they couldn't put him in the tub it's his vi <laughs> it's his video why they come he's sitting on the edge of the tub look at this they made him sit next to the tub why they ain't let him take his shirt off and get in the jacuzzi Diddy been a grimy cat for a long time, man. He make Biggie sit there and watch while he freak him off. Hey, Big, you stay right there, man. I got this one. I got that one. I got that one. You, you just stay. You don't get nobody. You see how I do, Playboy? Y'all better not even look at that nigga, man. If you look at that fat motherfucker, I'm gonna smack the shit out you. In there, he living the life, got holes, they in there chilling, Biggie, he ain't even invited. Like, where the fuck you gonna sit, Big? Like, what you doing, man? Put your shirt back on. If Biggie get in there, all the water gonna be on the floor, man. She looking like, damn, Big, you getting fat? Look how she looking at Biggie. Hmm. You don't gained a couple more pounds, big. The hell is going on? Look at this. Holes on the look how they at the bar, man. They just they wet it. Like I'm 14, I mean 25. Like yeah, I'm only six. I mean I'm 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 26. Is R. Kelly gonna be here tonight? Them girls look like they ain't got no breast. How in the hell they get in the video, man? This is trafficking. This video came out a long ass time ago. And they was rap rapping about the trafficking. Hold on, look, 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 look. This is the part right here. Let's Friends to Shay. Shay. Tell your friends to get with my friends. You don't set up a freak off in the middle of this man's song, y'all. He set up a freak off in the middle of the song. Usually when people take it to the bridge, they have a nice little harmony going. Not Diddy. After the hook, he took it to the bridge and set up a, a lifetime freak off. You tell your friends to get with my friends. <laughs> we can do this every weekend. Have an orgy. Every week, like on Pornhub. That's what he was rapping about. Tell your, get all your girls. I bring all my guys. Freak, 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 man. And we taking turns. But now in 2024, the world got amnesia. And it's not that we don't know who Diddy is. Because we surely do. We just don't know who this guy is. And that. He more sinister than Diddy, man. He like the Terminator. We need to get him in check. Because he not living right. We okay with Diddy. He perfectly explained everything that he do. But this Christian Combs, he need to step up to the plate. And help us get understanding. We want to know so bad who we dealing with. They ran up in there, took all his shit just so they can study him he's a foreigner in the land of entertainment and plus he ain't make his own hits this nepotism shit 
Is he a Scientologist? Don't people scared? Like, who the hell is King Combs and his brother? They shooting people. They are, they didn't even do nothing significant enough to give them a pass. Did he gonna get a pass? But them boys, they ain't gonna get shit. Did he gonna get a pass? Because he got collateral on some very important people. And so what? They went in there and found them tapes, man. So what? They got the audios and they got all that shit. So, so what? That still don't stop the fact that this man got access to some shit. They seen it with their own two eyes. They don't know what he got in the stash. He got tricks up his sleeves. He want them to try something. He let me, man, y'all need to see this. He wished they would. But he feel like his sons need to learn a lesson. He out there without a care in the fucking world. A beautiful, breezy day in Miami. He got the freedom. The freedom to take a bike ride. Amidst all the shit that's going on, man. The police not going to stop him. And if they do, they're going to treat him with the utmost respect. We talking about the diddler. This man could make some shit go off on the other side of the country. They do not want to play that game. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, that was his mentor. This dude, look at this man. He learned from the best of them. They told him what to do with his money, where to keep it. He got a plan A. B, C, and D. His son, on the other hand, he gonna have to learn the hard way, and rightfully so. You can't be King Combs if you ain't pay them King Combs dudes. Look at this. Diddy done made his mark. He's a, he got his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. He got his friends in Hollywood, celebrities and shit that's willing to help him out. He made one mistake. Look at this, y'all. He made one mistake. He sued that liquor company. That's something he should have never, ever did. He sued them on some racial discrimination that's bad for their brand you don't fucked up their money they got it out for this man people ain't buying this shit like they was buying it before people not you not about to go in there and buy that all this stuff in the news about diddy you don't want a bottle of syrup how they doing him who gonna drink that and I'm advising, you know, you could drink what you want to drink, but damn, he done blew up their whole company. Diego acquired Clooney's Casamigos in 2017 for a billion dollars and ain't got no Negroes to sell it to. It's the top selling U.S. tequila brand represents. Hey, my Latin people going to buy it up, but still. They might not even want to do it because of what they did to Diddy. Like, I like tequila, but I like Diddy too, man. If I can't be picking and choosing, I'm just going to get another brand. Diddy, my dog, man. I like it. I can't stop. Won't stop working. I love Diddy, man. Help me. They got Diddy in their headphones when they building houses and grocery stores and stuff, man. They got to choose. They don't fucked up the money, man. A multi-billion dollar deal publicly traded spirits company based in London owns more than 200 brands including Don Julio to he don't fuck with some major people some multi-billionaires he don't mess with the wrong you was they squishing him like an ant they squashing him like a bug man but they gotta use his kids they doing him a favor. This is what it boils down to, man. And he realized that 
he can't rock with niggas like that. It's over. He can't trust his kids. French Montana ain't nowhere to be found. Meek Mill ain't picking up his phone. Jay-Z act like he don't know who Diddy is. He looking like Wesley Snipes, Nino Brown. He just going to live his life, man. That's it. That's the end of the story for Diddy. His son's going to have to take the L. Okay, who we got up in here, man? Let's breathe. Let's recharge. Let's let's get ready for the second half of the video. Let's go ahead and just breathe it in. <sighs> Exhale it out. And let's go, man. We got QS, Jason Wildboy, all these beautiful, beautiful women's. But I got to give a shout out to my members first. Lance Hero King Legend. What it do, boy? Jason Wildboy and QS. Who else we got? Um, look, somebody else joined the channel. I want to make sure I give her a shout out as well. Display Faith Everywhere is here. Do y'all see that? That's a beautiful sight. Who else we got? Where's the young lady that joined the channel earlier? I'm looking for her. Simply a learn. Can't never scroll past that beautiful face and not in. Robin Freeman is in the building. Brian M. What it do, dog? Even 12. Taiwa Unk Bungu is here. No doubt, man. Okay, we about to go ahead into the second half of the video. I hope y'all ready. I'm glad y'all been paying attention. Let's go ahead and do it, man. Let's go ahead and do it. Get straight into it. Let's do it. Already? Okay, here we go. Go ahead, play that. Well, the son of Sean Diddy Combs, Christian Combs, is being accused of sexual assault in a civil lawsuit. The father, Sean Combs, is also named in the new lawsuit. Eyewitness News reporter Rob Hayes has the new details in this latest case involving the music mogul. From civil lawsuits to federal investigations, accusations of sex trafficking and sexual abuse have been piling up against rapper and producer Sean Diddy Combs, his Holmby Hills home, the site of a federal raid last month. And now Diddy is named in this new civil lawsuit. It accuses his son, Christian King Combs, seen here in custody during that raid, of sexually assaulting a woman on a yacht that Diddy chartered. Deep pockets. That's why Diddy the father is being looped into the suit, even though he probably had very little to do with the accusations against the son. The there it is. There it is. Diddy can clean up his own messes with no motherfucking problem. If Diddy do something, it ain't nothing for him to call his lawyers and get him out of a situation. If he wash, if he mess up a dish, he can go in the kitchen and wash it. But Diddy coming home to a sink full of dirty dishes that he ain't even use. And they expecting him to wash all these dirty dishes that his sons left behind because they his kids. He like, fuck that. Y'all some grown men. Y'all gonna find out. Y'all out here living reckless off of my dollar, put jeopardizing what I got going on. And you ain't putting out one dime on this boat. You got Little Rod with his camcorder. He, he recording everything that's going on. And you still acting the ass in front of this Fruit Loop? I'm pretty sure he told them about Little Rod. Like, don't do shit around Little Rod. And he's still up there wilding out. They ain't never going to put the sisters on blast. And the reason why they ain't going to do it is because... America, black America won't allow it. If they come out with allegations about this man's daughters, y'all going to say people thought shaming or whatever. So they're not even going to put them in the lawsuit. I'm pretty sure Lil Rod had them in the lawsuit, but they probably took it out for Oprah Winfrey law or some shit. The Gail King Oprah Winfrey law. You can't speak about sisters like that. Or else you, um, whatever. You creating victims or some shit. Anyway, I know I sound like a hater. 
But it is what it is. That's, I'm pretty sure his daughter's got dirt on them too. Actually, I know they do. I'm about to share it with y'all real quick. Hold on. Look, 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 look. Charge it up, charge it up. So, yeah, let me show y'all what time it is. Let me show y'all what time it is, man. And for them people that's calling me a hater and, a, you know, I'm just trying to find something bad to say about Diddy's daughters. That's not even the case, man. Diddy daughters vacay with LeBron's son admit investigations. They in the tub shaking booty with LeBron James's son. They in there, they getting their own little freak off going with a millionaire's child. All in LeBron's house. Butt naked in the tub working on another rich family. She got her man LaMelo Ball's cousin. They was at the airport on their way to LeBron house. This little idiot don't know that they probably getting blackmail on him, his father, collateral, so they could bring it back to kill Bill Diddy. They his ninjas. He got twin ninjas on the job, working on a whole nother baller. They about to set his ass. He going to be worse than Soldier Boy when they get done with him. They going to cat stacks his ass. It's a dark night. It got smoky waters. This shit look evil. Why is he? Why are they even there? LeBron go outside and see that shit. He'll probably have a heart attack. Like, why you got these witches? These old Diddy witches in my fucking pool. I would have beat his ass. They at LeBron's house. While they daddy getting investigated, working on this little boy. Tag team. The fr they freaking off. Allegedly. Shit, it looked like a freak off to me. But let me quit talking about them like that. This ain't about them. This is about King Combs. Cause he's the tyrant. And he's the reason why the whole family is in jeopardy. They letting y'all know what it's about. It ain't have nothing to do with Diddy like that. Sons them trafficking. His sons them with the young girls. Bringing them to the house. It's his sons and them doing the stuff. Look at this, y'all. Accusations against the son. The lawsuit describes the December 2022 scene aboard a yacht in St. Martin. The woman worked as a steward on that yacht and says Christian Combs may have spiked her drink, groped her, and forced her to have oral sex. Her lawsuit includes photos of bruises she says. That's what do I messing with them? Y'all see that? King Kong don't got aggressive with Becky. And she already inside some type of secret society. Look at her shit. She got access to the party. Like, do you know the password? She show her damn arm. Like, yes, I am the wizard of the cloak of Mount Zaya. And the priestess of Salzman and Gomorrah lets me into the freak off party. She already branded for the rave. He touched me and he hurt me. King Kongs. Look at this, man. Charge it up, charge it up. Look, there he go. There he go. King Combs. He just can't let her go. He put his he put his life in danger just so he could touch the pussy. He just he just wanted to put his King Kong finger on it. Like, baby, let me touch the pussy. 
She's like, please stop, King Combs. Like, you coming with me. Take that, take that. I'm take you take you everywhere with me, baby. What you mean no? How you gonna tell me no? Do you know who do you know who I am? I'm King Combs. You gonna come with me, bitch. I don't give a damn what you say. Do you know who my father is? Please! No, King Combs! Don't do it! Like, I'm gonna do it. Take that, take that, take that. She's a damsel in distress when he seen them tig old bitties. Oh that's when he lost his mind. He ain't never seen that ass like that. King Combs. He just gotta have Becky with the good hair. He get excited every time. Like, ooh, tig old bitties. He ain't give a damn about Diddy. He ain't care about his father, his mother, his sisters, his brothers. He wanted her ass. Now they coming to get him. They got the helicopters and shit. But King Combs, this motherfucker. Hold on, look at this. They got. They bought the net, the Homeland Security to go get King Combs. Ain't that about a bitch? Cause he couldn't keep his hands off that white gal. You Bojangles motherfucker. Now the whole family is in jeopardy and he's still trying to hold it down for bad boy. They don't hire lawyers. They trying to fight the machine cause he don't know how to keep his hands to himself. They going to take him all the way down. Just like freaking King Kong, man. But that's Negro here nor there. Like I said, they branded her ass for the freak. She got the bruises to push. She could have easily did something for them bruises. It looked like she bit herself. Eh. The picture all faded. She, them look like teeth marks. That she filtered out. See, I'm bruised. This bleed. That ain't even bru that's look like your hand. That piece look just like this piece, man. It ain't blue, it ain't black. Warlock. What that stand for? Like witches of Diddy. Like, bitch, I thought you was my witch. Oh my goodness. Like, who you calling a witch? My bad. She don't look too hurt to me, man. Look at this. Her lawsuit includes photos of bruises she says are evidence of the assault. An attorney for Sean and Christian Combs called the woman's claims lewd and meritless, and he attacked her attorney, Tyrone Blackburn. This complaint is filled with the same kind of manufactured lies and irrelevant facts we've come to expect from Blackburn. This is exactly why the federal judge in New York slapped him two days ago for a pattern of behavior in improperly filing cases in federal court to garner... Which is which is very very true, man. Which is very this dude Tyrone is sinking the whole world with his belligerent bullshit, man. Tyrone, I need to see this dude Tyrone Black Burn lawyer. I need to see this guy. So this is the infamous Tyrone Black, a wannabe Diddy Tyrone Blackburn, man. Why it look like he trying to be Diddy? He taking pictures like he gonna be a poster inside of a barbershop. That's very unprofessional, my brother. He kicking it at the park with a suit on. Who go to the park? He on his Mr. Rogers. He filing the lawsuits all wrong. He only 22 years old. He probably ain't even been to school. They might find out he faking to be a lawyer the whole time. He not even filing the paperwork right. What was that doctor that was fooling them people into getting pap smears? And was it Dr. Good Love or some shit like that? He was a young boy. Pap Schmear. That's how you spell it. Oh my goodness. 
the young dude, the black dude. Hold on, but I need to type in um Dr. Goodlove fake black doctor. Y'all know who I'm talking about though. There we go, right there. That's him. That is him. He's sitting in jail right now. For posing as a doctor. Says he still wants he's sitting in jail. He gave people pap smears. He had an office. Florida team pulls a catch me as you can arrested for pretending to be a doc. He was all up in there. Good. He was acting like a doc. He done did about 50 patients before they caught on. So it's a possibility that this Blackburn dude. He might not even be a real lawyer at the end of the day. And he just making up shit as he go. Like. He working with Tiffany Haddish and that's how you know he ain't a real lawyer. Her ass used to be on Skid Row. She'll give anybody a chance. I see you out here on Skid Row, young man. The sky is the limit. Like, that's right. Tiffany Haddish put me in position. Oh Who friggin' knows? But one thing for sure, this King Combs, he's a problem. It's not this, man. Run that back. To expect from Blackburn. This is exactly why the federal judge in New York slapped him two days ago for a pattern of behavior in improperly filing cases in federal court to garner media attention, embarrass defendants with salacious allegations, and pressure defendants to settle quickly, and why he was referred to the disciplinary committee in the Southern District of New York. The Diddy's attorney says he'll be filing a motion to have the case dismissed. As for that sex trafficking investigation involving Involving Diddy, legal analyst Lou Shapiro says don't expect any possible charges to come anytime soon. The federal government works very slowly, carefully, methodically. They're not going to bring a case unless they think they can win it. So therefore, it could be several months before we hear anything one way or another from the federal government against Diddy himself. Hello, I'm... So they're saying that he got seven months off the hook. They doing their investigations, compiling everything together and seeing what they got. But by them announcing that, that y'all shouldn't expect anything no time soon. This is just a, what you call it? A public humiliation, a public humiliation ritual that will blow over. They're going to have to lay low for a little while. And Diddy going to have to, they're going to force him to go into the shadows. They're going to force him to disappear for the remainder of 2024. He's going to be out of here along with his sons. And somehow, some way, that King Combs is going to come back. He's going to be older and desperate women going to be lurking. And he's going to have a new jam on the radio. Or he might be in a movie. So he's going to make a comeback. That's how it's going to go. It's going to be a thing of the past. He's going to talk about how he repented and he learned from his many, many mistakes and how he found the Lord and blah, blah, blah. And Diddy going to be somewhere playing the cut, playing golf, living a boring life, trying to stay under the radar while his son make a comeback and no telling what's in store for his twins. They basically sitting him down, but they ain't going to take him out the game, but they is sitting him down and teaching his sons a lesson in the process so they can use them for the future, man. That's what this is all about. Did he been in the hot seat before this ain't his first rodeo being on the front page. Yeah, man. Diddy made the front page on some horror American horror story shit. The Death Crush. Terror at City College. You know, I mean, they got a whole documentary. Matter of fact, we need to tune into this for a little bit, man. I want to thank y'all for watching. We about to get into the rest of this video. I hope y'all enjoying it. Got to let y'all know that y'all appreciate it like Tupac's mama. 
we gonna get into this a little bit, just a little bit, not a whole lot. So let's go ahead and rock with this, y'all. Today in Cincinnati, stunned city officials are trying to learn what went wrong last night outside a rock concert by a British group called The Who. It was billed as one of the biggest concerts to hit Cincinnati. Okay, they're going on and on with the shit. What about the Diddy stampede? Look at this. Themselves seeking justice and answers. Do you blame the crowd itself at all? I don't really. I can only go by what I saw on television. I just felt that if the doors were open, that the children would have been able to go inside. On today's episode of Evil and... Look, man. They going on. They got the parents on Donahue for Diddy. Y'all see this shit? They got the parents on Donahue crying about what happened to their kids. Speaking on Diddy. This is this is damn near in black and white. He been making headlines since 1992. With murders and stampedes and shit. People lost their lives fooling with this man ever since the beginning. And they let him get away with it every single time. It was a stampede. People, they were slaughtered. But what did it say? Look, 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 look. Crushing everyone who stood against the doors. According to early reports, Greg Nice tried his best to get the crowd to move backward by standing on someone's shoulders and yelling at the crowd to move back. And Gene Deal said he was in the midst of all of this. Gene Deal witnessed it as it went down. And still stayed with Puff. He's seen all of the freaky stuff. All of the zesty stuff. He's seen murders. He witnessed. He saw Biggie die. He don't seen people. He don't been there. And now he talking shit. I can't believe it. He witnessed the worst of the worst of Diddy. And now he got an opinion. But now it's his right hand man's. Diddy is not the problem. Diddy ain't never been a problem. It's the people around him that's the problem that allow him to do shit in front of their face and they ain't gonna say or do nothing because they ain't got no backbone and they only around him for his money. The young generation took advantage of Diddy. They treated him like he was a buffet. They was eating off of Diddy. They ain't got nothing. They didn't prove shit. They don't got no Grammys. They ain't got nothing. All they got is clout. They get around Diddy trying to, he trying to be cool with them when they not even worth being cool with because they ain't on his level with none whatsoever. He wasting his time dealing with them kids. Y'all need to see this, man. Y'all need to see this. God, man. You can't tell me that King Combs and Young Miami ain't have something going on. They did songs together. They was in the studio together. They vibing with each other. They are, they around the same age. And somehow, some way, this is like what Diddy did to Biggie by letting Faith Evans be with Biggie, even though he the one that discovered Faith Evans. He letting his dad be with his chicks. That's a whole nother level of controlling the situation, man. He's in full control. He manipulate. He's been manipulating his father for years and got him on the pink cocaine. Oh my goodness. This damn drug mule they talking about. This dude they caught at the airport. He looked like Diddy wouldn't even talk to him. But King Combs probably his best man. And I ain't trying to put that on him, but damn. Who said he was work he was bringing shit for Diddy? If Diddy getting it, if they talking about Diddy getting it from Young Miami, 
He not trying to be involved with no shit. Oh this look like somebody that either Justin or King Combs is cool with. One of they homies. They want to put the, the king hat on Diddy, but they got the wrong Diddy. Got a drug mule. He got 50 cent baby mama. Need to see this. From Cuba Gooden Jr. to pink cocaine inside Sean Diddy Combs circle of sex, drugs and violence. He got fame with Cuba Gooden Jr. His famous pal. They match in freakiness. They said Cuba Gooden Jr. would get butt naked at a Hollywood party like it ain't nothing. I don't believe none of this stuff, man. Pink cocaine. How in the hell that happened? His daughter's done already found another baller. They gonna be all right. They gonna spend LeBron James's money via his son. They in the, they shaking it up. They came through. They staying it. It's it's late as hell. They staying the night. They probably laid up right now, rubbing on his chest. It's going down, man. And like I told y'all, this looked like a couple that don't already happened. And they just playing his father. He running the show. The kids done took over Neverland. Diddy is delusional. He don't know what the fuck. Look how they had him. He got real swollen fat. They was hoping he have a heart attack. They bought her from Miami. She cooking all this soul food and shit. They was trying to kill him. So they could split the pie they ready for him to go but they must have forgot man that diddy is not the type of dude that's gonna go down easy man they must ain't know that they was messing with the diddler man as soon as they thought he was down for the count he flipped the script and got rid of all them fucking kids, man. Once he tasted the poison in the Kool-Aid they were serving, that's when he got ignorant. Now his son in the news, he maneuvered the situation and body slammed King Combs. He didn't know he was in a fight for his motherfucking life. King Combs want the belt. Diddy is the champ. His son, he want to compete, compete in music, compete in crime, commit sexual assault. They want to compete in sexual harassments. They want to see who's the baddest. This is like a gunslinging showdown. Who can smack more bitches? Who can take the pussy? You would never be badder than me. I'm trying to let you know I'm the original, but what you talking about? You a bad boy. You ain't never did nothing bad. I've been bad. I don't did shit that you ain't never going to do, young man. Respect your elders. I paved the way. I made my way. People get scared when I come in the room. Heard about that lady that got shot. Don't play with me, man. You need to go somewhere and go back to bed and lay down and wait for me to tuck you in, nigga. Remember when I used to tuck you in that night? When you were scared of the boogeyman, remember the nightlight? Oh, you don't remember that shit. Now, I remember coming in there to pissy mattresses. How many mattresses I had to buy, Christian? How many mattresses? Don't play with me, boy. You need to stay in your place. I'm the king. I'm fucking King Combs. What you thought? You took my song. You gonna remake my song and tell me that you made a hit? No, nigga, I made a hit. I made, when you gonna make your own hits? Matter of fact, give me my belt. No, stand still, stand still. Take that. Take that. Take that. Take that. Take take that. Yeah, take take that. Take that. Take that. Take that. Now get the fuck out of my face. 
talking about he a bad boy. Who, who you think he messed with? What he thought? And the whole time, young Miami just watching. Damn. Oh, damn. Somebody like that. I heard that. Somebody hit the cat. Somebody threw me a nickel. That shit hit hard. I'm out here panhandling like a monster. Ding. Y'all heard that? Who did that? Somebody threw a nickel in a bucket while I was talking. Sheree Amore. Thank you so much for that donation, my sister. I appreciate that. And I'm going to give you a big old shout out at the end of the video too, man. Real talk. But that's Negro in or there. But yeah, man. Did he not about to lose his title to no kids? He already see how trifling his daughters is. He going through the hardest time in his life. And just like they mother, just like Misa, just like all the other chicks, they find themselves with another baller when he going through it the worst. Just like y'all mother. I need y'all by my side. I'm hurting. I'm in pain. And y'all at LeBron James house shaking ass in his pool. Y'all just like y'all. Just like Misa. Just like Cassie. Just as soon as he hit rock bottom. They not nowhere to be found. They too busy working on another man with money. Just like they mama know. And I ain't talking about Kim Porter. But damn. That's trifling. Daddy needs somebody there. But when he start crying and he can't get up to use the bathroom on his own, somebody need to bring the bedpan in there. Oh they ain't about to do. They not about to wipe his ass. He ain't got no family. It's over. He in the world all alone. Biggie gone. Tupac gone. Suge Knight in jail. He the last one left. How we thought it was going to end. Biggie went out. It was tragic, but it was better that than what Diddy had in store for his ass. Well, actually, that's what Diddy had in store for him. But still. He in the world, all of, this new generation is eating him alive. These young kids, they, cl they ain't got no heart, no soul, just clout. They want his clout. They willing to take him out of the game just to claim everything he ever worked for. King Combs. That's like. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, switch it up. Man, <clears throat> I don't know if we got any wrestling fans out there. But for the people that know what I'm talking about, y'all got to feel me on this, man. Remember Randy Orton? When he was the legend killer? Y'all probably don't remember this, man. He was the youngest one to have a belt and they couldn't stand it. He was disrespecting his elders. He put Ric Flair in a goddamn stunt. He was beating a ass. He beat the shit out of the Undertaker. And the fans was mad. He body slammed Batista. Disrespected Triple X. He was a motherfucking menace with the... They couldn't stand this guy. He was disrespecting all of the... Some of them wrestlers. He smacked the shit out of Hulk Hogan. How could he do that? It was blasphemous. But he built the reputation off of disrespecting... All the wrestlers that paved the way. He did them bad. He had them bleeding. The shit wasn't fake. He was really kicking them in their noses. And I say all that to say. That King Combs. Is basically the legend killer. He want the belt. And he ain't waiting. He want it now. He's entitled. He feel like he deserve it. So much so that his reckless life implicated his own father. Now they on the run together 
when it would have been better if he would have just sat his ass down because Diddy was in control. As long as Diddy is in control, everything is going to run smooth. Freak offs, the girls, whatever y'all like to do. He's the one with the money, dummy. He's the one with the money. You can't move like how he moved because you ain't got his money. He going to go broke trying to cover your ass. But if anything that we know about Diddy, he not about to go broke and he not about to go to jail for nobody. Not even his own son. We going to see how this play out. It's a possibility that his son's going to have to take the rap for everything that ever been alleged against him, man. He can blame everything on both of his kids. Listen at this. Lawsuit and Sean Combs is being sued uh, for premises li liability as the one who pr procured the yacht. This woman claims that in late December, just days before uh, Sean Diddy Combs held this uh, big New Year's Eve party, uh, that the son, Christian Combs, who was in his mid-20s at the time, allegedly made unwanted sexual advances towards her and that she repeatedly told him no. And that at one point, things escalated so far that they were in a room, a theater on the yacht, allegedly, and that Christian Combs pulled his pants down and tried to uh, force sex acts on her. That's when in the lawsuit, she alleges that an individual came into the room and thwarted it. But, you know, she is suing for emotional distress. And in the lawsuit, she claims that she has, you know, this has really derailed her life and a relationship that she had with someone at the time. And that um, it's, uh, you know, that she's seeking unspecified damages and this could potentially go to trial if it doesn't I read that settle. she was 20. Come on, man. You want me to think they had some wholesome ass chick working the boat. She's just wholesome. She in there with her hair in a knot. She got on her nun outfit and everything. She a missionary for the Catholic Church, making sure that they soup stay warm. And I'm not trying to say she's guilty for being around these men, but come on, man. You the non-freakiest boat stewards. Why would they hire somebody's nana to be on the boat with them if they ain't with the freak? And the reason why I believe that it's a possibility that this woman was with the shits is because. Well, it's because. Get it together. Charge it up, bro. And I know I mentioned this before, but this is the reason why I think that she was all the way with the freak, man. We got to find out what that symbol mean on her arm, man. She's a part of some type of society. She's a part of some type of club, some type of coven or some shit. Like, what does that even mean? Hold on. Hold on. Cultist. Wrist. Tat. Two. Look, this look like some occultist, some shit like that. It looked like something just like that. Some type of coven. What is she on, man? What are those bizarre markings on her wrist? What does it mean, man? because it's freaking us out. She talking about she a victim. What is her fraternal order? But that's Negro here no there. Shout out to her and thank God he didn't take advantage of her, even though he tried. No woman deserves anything of that nature, regardless of who she is or who she with. Oh my God, the love is real. Y'all hear that? I'm going to keep talking. Oh, my God. People don't hit that cash app. I'm about to give y'all the biggest shout out at the end of this video, man. Best believe I appreciate it. No doubt. Okay, listen at this. 
five at the time. We know Sean Combs is still facing a federal investigation for sex trafficking. What's the latest on that? So, you know, last week, you know, NBC News, we saw these raids taking place by federal authorities at multiple residents of Sean Diddy Combs. You know, he has denied any wrongdoing. We've seen him out and about over Easter. He's been posting pictures on social media of him, uh, of his granddaughter. He's been seen out with uh, his daughters. Um, and he has not been charged with anything criminally yet. We don't know what authorities found in those federal uh, raids. Um, and so it would make sense that the authorities... They ain't found shit. They ain't find nothing. Because if they did, they would already be detained. It'd be on the front page. They talking about you got to wait seven months to figure out what the hell is going on. Man, I call baloney. If they had something, they would have threw the hammer. They would be wrapping this thing up now. It would be blockbuster. It'd be pandemonium. It'd be bigger than the Cat William Shay Shay interview. Man. Oh they milking the cow. They gonna keep on milking it. Cause at the end of the day, the people that's involved are willing participants you got they got to prove that these people wasn't with it and that's gonna be a hard thing to do it's gonna be a whole lot of lying little rod is collecting people cassie collecting people to run their campaign the only people they could go off of is the people associated with little rod and cassie they the only two informants that's trying to pull this thing together Besides that, they got nothing. Some some tapes, some recordings, they shit, everybody being recorded. Tell us something. That ain't nothing. I'm being recorded. You being recorded. Every time you pick up the damn phone, it don't make a difference where if they got cam every cameras every damn where. So what they got cameras? I ain't got no secrets either. I be talking to myself. I look over at the mic, the shit on. They could hear me. I let out a loud fart in the middle of the night. Look left and right. Ain't nobody there. But they heard it. Ain't nobody got so what they they make it seem like they got a smoking gun because he got some videos of celebrities. Y'all y'all got some videos of everybody. Who cares? It's a video. Are you in the hotel when you go to the when you check in at the lobby when you get off the elevator when your ass go in the room and there's probably a damn camera in the damn toilet oh they make it seem like secrets is something that we we ain't got no secrets don't nobody got secrets who cares they freaked off with some chick that was willing they heard her moaning on the tape well she was having a good time Ain't like she was screaming and hollering. They gonna watch every last porno until they come across somebody that don't like it. Oh my like, did you hear that? That was an enjoyable moan. Oh my God, it sounds like she's in pain. We're, we're, we're on to something. All right, let's strap up. Let's go back in and get some more tapes. Oh and another one. The squad team gonna be on their way to Diddy House talking about and another one they about to do a whole nother raid they got T.D. Jake how they gonna sell the T.D. Jake sex tape the power bottom freak off that would be a blast for me to people would get out there and protest if they tried to do some shit like that like how dare you them old ladies wouldn't allow it I dare you put the pastel booty all on the damn thumbnail. Oh that ain't right. They all messing with the Lord. They'll be throwing hot pies at the cameras and everything, man. Them old ladies show up with them hot patty pies, throwing it at the paparazzi. Man, how they gonna sell them Diddy Freak tapes? 
George Clooney with a BBW chick. Oh my like, damn, George. He breaking it down while T.D. Jake's in the back preaching the gospel. How they going to sell that? French Montana begging Diddy to stop. Stop, Diddy, stop. Stop, to Diddy. Don't nobody want to see that for real. And if you do, you're free. The King Kong sloppy toppy compilation. Oh take that, take that, take that. How they going to do that? Like, why would they do that? Y'all some fine motherfuckers taking all of my privacy and making a profit off of me and my son's freak offs. We, we about to sue the United States of America for putting out our sexual activities to the masses. They calling me God got 3000, man. People seen what I did with my throat and that was my own personal business. And as far as my son and his freak off tapes, he was only nine years old on the first clip. So I'm suing all y'all for even watching it. Y'all in our personal business, man. Watching all my sex tapes, personal intimate moments. My Y'all seen when my kids was conceived. That's an intimate moment for me and my baby's mothers. Y'all was never supposed to see when my children was conceived. Those are holy tapes that was held within my family to remind us of our human experience and how we got here in the first fucking place. Y'all messing with a family legacy. We gonna sue all y'all ass. So what I've been told is, don't you pick up? Have you ever picked something up off of the floor? So what I've been told is, plenty of people, it's a part of life. People bend down. You act like you ain't never have to pick nothing up before, man. I can't believe y'all got me out here. Y'all seen all my shit. All the girls I've been with, the old ones, the skinny ones, the young ones, the fat ones, black ones, the white ones, the Puerto Rican ones, the Mexican ones. That ain't right. That's my person. How y'all gonna go up in my shit and take my shit? Would you like it if I went up in your house and took all your computers and went through all your shit and put out all your pornos and put out all, all your freak off, all the times you masturbate, all the times you fought, all the time you beat the shit out your kids? Would you like that if I took all the surveillance out your house and sold it to the public? I don't think you would be able to take that. Take that, take that, take that, take that. Man, this shit is getting crazy, man. Can y'all believe it? I can't. Uh, where are the members at? Display Faith Everywhere is still kicking it with QS. What it do, baby? And everybody else watching, man, it's not beloved for y'all too. Lance Hero King Legends, dog, what's up? Y'all holding it down with Jason on Wild Boy, no doubt. That's what it is. Who else we got? Neil Taylor. I'm Tivius Banks. What did he do, dog? Said Diddy got Superhead for King Tariq Combs. A birthday party. King Tariq Combs. That's what it is, man. But yeah, let's switch it up a little bit. Let, let's get something started. Let's bring up some real stuff. I need y'all to continue to listen to this. It's a few things I want to get into, but we're going to get into this one first, man. So I want y'all to keep listening to this. Okay, Reg, go ahead, play that. And it's just hard for people not to look at you and see your pops because you look just like your pops. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah, facts. Does that weigh on you personally and professionally, like sometimes? Like, nah, I mean, I think it's a cool thing. Mm -hmm. Pops is a. He look, he look, he look good. He don't look crazy, so. <laughs> <laughs> I saw before you guys did the iHeart Festival, he had put up a post just talking about how proud he was and that you're on stage because you have a hit record, not just because you his son, <laughs> but yeah, facts. in your own right, having a hit record. Well, so even with that, like, when he put up that post, internally, how does that make you feel? Nah, honestly, I feel real good to, you know, hear him say that because Throughout my whole career, just like whole time saying I want to rap, that was like his main thing, saying like, yo, if you don't get a hit, it's over. Like, yo, he even said, saying before I put this out, like, yo, your time is ticking, yo. What you going to do? You, you still don't got a hit. Damn. So for him to say, like, you know, it was a hit, then 
I feel like it's certified. I feel like, you know, we passed that. Now it's time to drop the project. Put out more hits. What's this? Oh, man. Oh, man. Let me get this together for y'all. Let me get it together so y'all can understand. Sometimes when people get a hit, <clears throat> that's when things get crazy, man. Do y'all remember when Jim Jones had that hit record balling and it was going viral and it was all in the clubs. Everybody was balling. Do y'all remember that? And him and Cam started beefing when they was cool the whole time. As soon as he got a hit, that's when he started tripping on Cam. He was cool with Cam the whole time when Cameron was making hits. As soon as he got his own hit, the friendship was done. It instantly went to his head, man. And they had a falling out and they still ain't right. He feel like he better than Cam because he finally got a hit. One hit. That's all it took, man. You can't trust somebody after they feel the juice. Once they start feeling they self, it's game over. So when his son got that hit and he was getting all that attention, they got him up at the breakfast club. You can't tell me he wasn't feeling himself. He like, man, I am here. I have arrived. Dad, get out of my way. You the past, move out the way. Sit your old ass down, let a young nigga shine. That's when he started acting up and showing out and getting out of character, grabbing on females, acting like he the star of the show. Diddy should have sat his ass down. That's why he wasn't there when they did the raid. Diddy was somewhere happy as hell. Hold on. They knew he would. They came to get his damn sons, man, and roughed them up and scared the shit out of them. It's a scared straight tactic. And Diddy, look how Diddy looking. Like, that's what you get, nigga. Scared them. They, they don't want to listen to what he got to say. He just an old washed up fat dad that they don't even appreciate. He made sure he got all his shit out the house. They didn't even, if they would have known the cops was coming, they wouldn't have been there. Diddy took all his shit out the house and left them with all they tapes, all they, they gonna take the L. That's the only way he gonna get them out his pockets. They ain't got no choice but to be their own man. He's starving them out, man. He had to bring in the whole media to help him bring order to his home. Diddy ain't did nothing. But be Diddy. And we love, people love Diddy. We let Diddy be Diddy for a long, wasn't nobody planning on stopping Diddy from being Diddy. But them sons, them the ones we ain't, y'all need to get, who, now y'all getting exposed. Since y'all don't want to do right, now y'all getting exposed, man. That's what it boils down to. That's all it's about. Can you, uh, it, it, man, I'm not about to be bringing up Michael Jackson every day, but can you imagine if Michael Jordan's son was in the NBA or any of them dudes, they talking about LeBron James' son coming to the NBA. Look at this. Look at this, man. They talking about Bronny coming to the NBA. Wearing the number 23 James 
Will he even get credit for anything he do, man? If he fed, he already a bust. They want him to carry on his father's legacy. Can he handle the pressure? If he fumble, if he do some shit with his father on a yacht, he done roughed up a chick and she talking about suing. When you think about it, you don't know what his kids done did. We don't know what these kids done did. When your parents is million, they do all types of shit. It's no telling what these kids get involved in, man. One thing for sure, and they using Diddy's kids to get at him because they ain't got nothing on Diddy for real. They got to use his kids to find some dirt. And he way too sm he's smarter than what they thinking, man. But them boys, they dumb. How many people he don't crossed? He crossed everybody. Now he crossing his kids up. But they had it coming. Everybody he crossed had it coming. Damn. I guess that's just his legacy. Y'all gonna have to let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section. Cause this is really getting ugly. Listen. What's the next? Is it a record? Is it a, a whole album? Like what's that next thing look like? Yeah, I got a project coming soon. I don't want to give too much, too much away until I got it super right for y'all, but it's coming soon. We actually got him um, to play some of it last night. We hyped it oh, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, plug in He's the Wizard violent. Ox. <laughs> Using Say Less Violin. Mm -hmm. So yeah, what kind of vibe is it? A sneak peek. It's just like a a good vibe. I want my music to bring like positive energy. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a lot going on with negativity and people talking about killing each other and all that. I'd rather just bring a good positive vibe, make people want to dance, mm -hmm. have fun. It's hard to know which one like for you to put out next. Is it like the smooth vibe or is it the New York vibe? Um, I don't know. I just go with whatever I'm feeling at the moment. I got a couple. New York vibes, couple smooth vibes. Shout out some artists in Cali. Got some Cali vibes. Mm -hmm. Some drill music. Shout out all the, the drill kids out here. How does it feel like to have like? Cause you know we all know like Mace was an influence of yours. Mm -hmm. You know, and you know of course <laughs> you know Diddy's your pop star. But yeah. it's like, how does it feel to see like two people that you've looked up to musically, you know, having issues? I mean, you know, it's all love. I know they, they brothers. They they gonna figure, figure stuff out. They always figure. They problems out, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. You don't like to see it though? Yeah, nah, we don't really like to see that, but you know, bad boy, we gonna stick together forever. But you know, if he got a problem, he could talk to my pops right, face right. to face, you know? Yeah, I don't think, I don't think do it's it. that, that serious. As long as nobody gets like physically injured and it's just a back and forth, then I think. <sighs> this is so distasteful, man. They trying to drag him in to his father's beef. The media already been sizing this man up they want him involved with the diddy they they want mace to send shot he want they want him to send shots at mace so they can square off that's the situation that he in you wearing your father's shoes you wearing his clothes, you wearing his jet, you got you look just like him. You got the 360 waves. You got on your father's whole outfit. You are his representative. <clears throat> Do you really want to wear that man's shoes? All of the heat. People with sense would try to let people know that or try to make it seem like they not related to somebody like that. Your father done did dirt. You probably need to lay low and go to college. That's how the real gangsters do it. They don't want to see their kids around no guns, no none of that. Who in the hell? That's like if your father was a mass murderer and you look just like him. You wearing the same uniform. You doing all this shit. For, you probably don't want to wear that suit. You might want to take that off. That suit got blood on it. 
unless you willing to go out there and and shed some blood, you might want to take that off. That's not a good look, man. <clears throat> That's like, hold on y'all. Let me get this together. <clears throat> hold on y'all. I'm gonna really show my age on this one, but you know, I'm out of date. I ain't up with the times and shit. So this the only reference I can make to prove my point. That's like if Freddy Krueger had a son and he wanted to wear the suit like Freddy, that might not be a good, who in their right mind want to do some shit like that? Your dad is a murderer, a monster. You don't have to be that. Who gonna put on this shit? Oh Trying to be like their daddy, man. That would be sick. You trying to holler at a bitch looking just like your daddy. Oh and that motherfucker Freddy Krueger, he had the beach trying to holler. Like shorty, what's your name? Who your friend? Who your friend? Like if you don't take that shit off, oh that's what King Combs doing. He got on the Diddy suit. Like that's something that he wanted or he should want to represent. You know what I'm saying? I don't get it. Hold on, look at this. Because yeah. I feel like that happens all the time when it comes to mm -hmm. deals and all of that. Like even for you, thinking about what type of deal you want to sign. Yeah. You know, who gives you direction on that? Are those decisions that you make just with your lawyer or do you consult? With yeah, your my dad? lawyer. Yeah, my pops. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm What kind of situation do you see yourself wanting to be in? <coughs> like what? Like as far as do you want a label deal? Do you want to have your own label? Do you want to put out other you got one. for you? Yeah, I would say yeah, running a label. Uh, yeah, have my own label. I did it. Be fired. Isn't Bad Boy kind of yours though at this point? Yeah, it's mine. We're taking over. <laughs> <laughs> He dead ass serious, man. He was dead ass serious. Blasphemy. <clears throat> we taking over. Everything I've been saying this whole video. The younger generation. Just living off of the advancements of the generations before them. Ain't got nothing. Ain't bringing nothing new to the table. Just living off of the advancements that was laid down before them. Ain't elevating a damn thing. Just eating off of what was here before they got here. They showed up to eat. That's it. The new generation showed up to eat the food that we prepared. That's all. And this young man is having a feast. Talking about we taking we taking over. We is. is Young Miami, y'all heard that? Young Miami, you, your brothers, y'all take all the, your sisters and shit. The kids is taking over the castle. And Diddy just a big joker. They don't even respect their father. Look at this, y'all. Yeah. You know, who gives you direction on that? Are those decisions that you make just with your lawyer or do you consult with yeah, your dad? Yeah, my lawyer, yeah, my pops. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm What kind of situation do you see yourself wanting to be in? <laughs> like what? Like as far as do you want a label deal? Do you want to have your own label? Do you want to put out other you got artists one. for you? Yeah, I would say yeah, running a label. Yeah, have my own label. I did it. Be fired. Isn't Bad Boy kind of yours though at this point? Yeah, it's mine. We're taking over. <laughs> That's something that'll get you smacked for real. That's something that'll get you whacked for real. Um, 
I'm freaking disgusted with this dude, man. I'm just saying. Diddy is in the biggest trouble ever fooling around with this guy. He don't hijack the label. They playing by his rules. He running the show. He the one making the decisions. Got the young girls in and out of the damn house. His mama's baby, but rest in peace to, he got a spite, vengeance in his heart. He off the chain. Diddy can't do nothing with him because he know he wrong about with his moms, man. Diddy rather let it play out like this because he know the reason why his kids is off the chain. And he know he dead ass wrong. He can't tell them to he can't tell them to do shit. Cause soon as they start talking about their mom, he gets sick to the stomach. They got him by the balls. He'd rather let the SWAT team deal with them kids. Cause King Combs, he done riled all the troops to get him. He he got his brother. To be his ally. Look at this, y'all. Justin and Christian Combs, man. They formed an allegiance against their father, man. These two brothers got a pack on some G Money and Nino Brown. Nino Brown and G Money. That's what you're looking at. And they already talking about taking a takeover. That's something that'll get you rocked. How you going to talk about a takeover of your father's record label that he built before you was even born? That's how y'all talking. That's how y'all feeling. And I'm pretty sure they mothers will motivate the hell out of them to do it. This is Diddy and Wolf all over again. Diddy and Wolf all over again, man. And Puff see it for what it is. Like, damn, that's me running with Wolf all over again. He know that if his son is exactly like him, he can't be trusted. And if this is really Wolf's son, he know how to deal with him too. He an OG. His shit, this whole situation is crazy. These young boys deciding that they want to be men. They was raised up wearing, raised up wearing his clothes. Got the nerve to say something about a takeover. They in there talking about a takeover. King Combs and him and his brother, they want the whole castle. They want the whole, they want the money. They, they want it all. They are grateful. They've been smelling they self. They daddy getting old. They keep him happy. They keep him really, really happy. While they running the show and tell him he can chill act, sit back. We the one we going to do the party. All you got to do. We, we got this dad. The girls coming. We got the liquor. We got everything covered. You can sit back and chill, playboy. We running the festivities. We got all the kids our age to come and kick it, dad. We need to get all these old people. Tell Mary J to go home, dad. Tell all your old school homies they can't hang. Tell Buster Rhymes he don't need to come back to the party. We gonna keep it young and fresh. Young and fresh, dad. We trying to spice this thing up. You got all these old heads, Lou Nell at the party. You got Big Daddy Shaq at the party. Like it's smelling like mothballs in here, dad. Let us take over. We got this. We know how to get the girls, bring them to the parties, have a good time. We know how to spike the drinks. 
you don't have to the way you was doing it in the 90s is not how we do it today dad we spike them a little bit you ain't got to worry about shit go lay down matter of fact here go Lori harvey take young miami dad just just go to the back and freak off and now these knuckles on the front page news all across the globe diddy thought they had control of the restaurant come to find out these niggas got roaches in the kitchen the food is rotten food poisoning out the ass customers leaving they done fucked up his whole operation they dumbass done started a fire it is over and he gonna let them clean the shit up diddy ain't cleaning up shit diddy is not helping them clean this up at all they had to get their own lawyer he made them get their own lawyer like you was not we not doing i ain't doing none of this with y'all that's on y'all hold on y'all i need to see this i keep bringing up this fact but this is crazy he made them motherfuckers said nope i'm not y'all gonna have to figure it out they went out they so scared they got el chapo's lawyer like dad you gonna pay for him or no it's all good till it's time to pay that that damn first bill they gonna be stuck it is what it is but y'all how long we been on here man how many people we got watching oh man thank y'all so much for tuning in We've been on here for two hours or whatever, so we about to wind this thing down. Y'all got to let me know in the comment section how y'all feel about all this, man. Do y'all feel like King Combs is a problem or do y'all think he's an innocent bystander that got caught up in everything that Diddy got going on? Or do y'all think he's the one running the show? Y'all going to have to let me know, man. I appreciate y'all so much. And for the people that hit that cash app, let me show y'all nothing but love. I'm talking about Sari Amore. Hit that cash app. Thank you so much. Jay Mungin. Hit the cash app twice, my brother. You are appreciated, man. Brittany Walker. You are too. Betty. Vanji Cooks. I'm so grateful for y'all. April Jarman. Humble Waters. Y'all just so amazing, man. Sugar Love. Tammy. Demetrius Bright. Sheen is real. Lanisha Thompson. A&E. Y'all just don't know how much this mean to me, man. Thank y'all so much. All the people watching, all the people that hit that like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. And for all you beautiful queens out there, I see y'all in the comment section. Rebel Young, sweet memories of you calling back in the day, man. It was amazing. You need to pick up the phone sometime. QS. Oh, man. 12, Gina Diaz. I think I'm falling in love. I risk my motherfucking life. I, 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 I risk my life to give you documentations, girl. I risk my life to give you documentations, girl. I risk my life to give you documentations, girl. I risk my life to give you documentations, girl. I Got the jocks. I'm keeping it funky like some socks. Ponytail with the box and my.